Ghostly greetings YouTube. This is Dawn, aka Amber Pope. Um, just giving you a video update of what I've been up to. I've been working on the fire pit for my cauldron creep. And this is what I've gotten so far. All it is is spray foam, a couple of water bottles, and some clear tubing from a fish tank. And I uh, spray foamed it, sanded down to make it look like it has logs, cracks in it, and then the ash part. I think it came out really, really good. I just got done putting in the red highlights for the flame. I'm also going to do orange LED lights on the inside of it. And I have like a little ring, I'll show you the back of it. It's pretty simple to make. It's all like stuff I had lying around the house. But all these are here are water bottles that I cut in half just to give me that round shape. And I wanted them clear so that way it could show through. These here are clear plastic tubings for uh, an under gravel system on a fish tank. You can get them at like any pet store. They're pretty cheap. They're like, you know, I think like three, four bucks for a long tube of it. I just covered it with spray foam and let it dry for a couple of days and went to town on sanding the logs down to make them that round, kind of smooth looking crack shape and uh, left the ashes kind of bubbled up and kind of ashy looking I guess you could call it but yeah this is what I've come up with so far I think it came out pretty good oh yeah I'll show you what it looks like in a light I don't have the lights for it yet but if you put it in the sunlight they tend to look really really good I don't know if it'll show up on the camera yeah it's kind of hard to tell Let's see if I can get it out of the sunlight but yeah, you can kind of see how they're they're kind of glowing. And that's hopefully what I, I hope to achieve when I put the LEDs on the inside of it. And I've been working on the cauldron creep itself. I primed it today. I'm gonna give it a couple days for it to hard a couple days for it to harden up. And then I'll spray paint it black. And pretty much it'll be done until I can get the bones for them. And then I've also been working on the spider. My spider got wrecked last year. He got all wet and most of the spray foam came off on him, but got all soggy and collapsed in, so I decided to fill it with spray foam today. I poked a zillion little holes in it and it's all coming out, but now it's real, real hard. So I'm hoping that it doesn't explode tonight as it finishes swelling up. But that's about it. I uh, will give you a vlog when I get done with more of this stuff.